Welcome back, guys. This is um, episode 14. We're just finishing off a little bit of fertilizing up here in field A. Where the final stage growth has come through. most of the other fields but this needed a kind of fertilized and this is our field B that we were in in episode 12 and we extended it cleared up the whole field actually instead of just the, the top end And we've just taken out a wheat crop from here. We've been relatively busy. And we've got another crop here where I've brought the harvester to. It's at 71% ready. There's some more wheat there to take off. So we'll get on the way with that a little bit later. And we're up to 1.3 million and quickly gaining back the money that we had spent. But I'm really keen in acquiring this block of land here. 425,000. And uh, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> I'm just feeling lucky today so that's also another crop ready that we can we can harvest and the cows are coming on good we're up to 200 head of cows now and fuel 57 which is just on the side on the left here I'll probably buy it once I get up to about 5 million and our fertilizers and fuel and our seeding program it's all coming along really good um, I thought we may have had some difficulties, but it uh, doesn't look that it's going to be a problem at all. And it's progressing the way I thought it would. Because uh, the way the markets have been, um, the price for, for grains have been rather slow so diversifying was the best move to do makes the space in there and the price of straw um, it still remains fairly low so having the compost master Converting the straw into compost gives me a way better price than 
the straw would ever ever give me. Just park this over here for a second. And okay. Just move this one up a bit and see we've just taken the slurry from the cow yard, the ghoulie from down there. And we've just refilled this this sump here. And and that will give us the digestate that we want to make our fertilizer with. I'll just park her up here. Because yeah. I want this truck. We keep running out of digestate from down the BGA and it's starting to fill up with a fair bit of fermented silage in the silos. Here we go. We're going to back straight in. Probably not. Should be under. There we go. See what we've actually got. No, wrong button. Okay, mixed rations. A fair bit. Silage. And this is only one silo. A fair bit. Straw. A fair bit. No wood chips. No chaff. Hay. A fair bit of grass. Okay. I'll switch it off there. Here we go. This is a field that we had purchased. Field 37. And time to sow here. Trying to um, space out um, the field harvest because it takes a bit of time to deal with the um, with the byproducts of uh, of the other equipment, and if you're constantly doing ploughing, cultivating, and harvesting the um, the seeds and the fertilizer and all those other bits of um, things that are happening. They just get away on you and they stop because you don't get time to say empty the fuel or, or refill the slurry or um, take the seed away and they all take time. Oh, it's like that, is it? I'll have to come down the other way, I guess. We'll do the headland first. Might work this way. Yeah. Funny how that 
Oh, I can't lock that. Yeah, but we, we've been reasonably um, lucky, you know, because with the, the way we've changed what we do here on Plan Health, it, it's come very good. It's very reliable to do. Um, the prices of, you know, even soybeans, it, it takes so long for it to, to regain a high price. and. Um, in diversifying into the byproducts, like from converting the wheat, barley, or even corn. Corn has a, a better yield than wheat, so I'm thinking about giving the wheat a bit of a rest because I don't need the straw. I've got enough straw at the moment to keep the compost master going and. I'll probably do barley instead of wheat, just to change it up a little bit, but um, the, the compost brings a reasonably good price too, if, but if I'm selling it at about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, game time, um, I have to wait till about 6 or 7 the following night for the price, to, that's how long it takes for it to regain. Um, it doesn't come back up to its original price. <coughs> I think I sold a good load for about 800. And um, it's sitting at about 650 something now. So by about 9 o'clock it might be up to about 7. So it depends on the game mechanics itself, I think. but. that's all right because you know like if something comes down something else is ready to sell or I've got enough of to sell in one go there's a tree depot <laughs> oh I'm stuck in it now am I <laughs> yeah so we've been doing a bit of grass cutting and some tethering as well. And uh, we've been storing up the manure a little bit too. I've got an idea to do with it. this field in front of me <coughs> I wouldn't mind purchasing it as well oh I did say you know it's been yeah that'd be right I wouldn't mind having these fields up here but I didn't think it would come on so quick I wonder if that will let me sow now. Or am I going to have a row on the edge here where I can't sow it? I'm going to try anyway. Oh yeah. I think it was just coming the other way, wouldn't let me. But yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, it won't be long, and I think that our ten thousand dollar, our ten million dollar mark, will be quickly acquired. Because if I was to sell everything that I've got in store, um, I'd say I'd yeah, be halfway there. If I didn't buy anything more. Or you know, even if I sold off everything that I had, I think I'd reach 10 million quite easily. But, um, just, that's not farming life. <laughs> you just don't do that. Keep going and keep going till the day you die, I guess. 
but that's where we're up to episode 14 and uh, I'm just gonna finish sowing this field here and we'll catch you in the next episode guys and thanks for watching and stay safe